Welcome to Education on Demand, where learning is limitless. Today's lesson is on GMAT data sufficiency, algebra. A typical question found in the GMAT will read, is X negative? In this section of the GMAT, students must decide whether the information in each statement is sufficient to answer the question. The first step to solving this question is to evaluate statement one. We are going to plug in some of our own numbers that will help us determine if this statement is sufficient or not. We are going to test 0, 1 half, and negative 1 half. In statement 1, 2 to the 0 equals 1, and this value is equal to 1, not less than 1, so x is not 0. 2 to the half equals 1.41, which is greater than 1, and 2 to the negative 1 half equals 0.71, which is less than 1. As you can see, this statement only holds true when x is negative. Hence, this statement seems to contain all the necessary information needed to determine if x is negative or not. Next, we're going to evaluate statement 2. After reviewing statement 2, we see that it only works when x is greater than 0 and less than 5. Hence, this statement could be false if x were greater than 5 and positive, or less than 0 and negative. Thus, there is not enough information contained in statement 2 for it to be sufficient. Therefore, the answer is A. I hope this lesson helped you better prepare for your test. Subscribe to the Ivy Key channel and view new videos every day. If you have a test question, leave a comment below. And you can sign up for group classes and private lessons by visiting the ivykey.com.